Should the post-game handshake be banned? What's next for Aaron Rodgers? And was Kyrie Irving snubbed? You know, I do a lot of work to try to somewhat control the end zone. Juwan Howard's suspension may not be the only fallout from the Michigan-Wisconsin incident, as apparently some are in favor of eliminating the post-game handshake line. What the hell are you talking about? Let's just say Tom Izzo does not agree. The biggest farce, joke, ridiculous nature of anything I've ever heard of. We should probably all side with Coach here, since he's been able to keep it together for post-game handshakes, and we've certainly seen him plenty angry. The NBA had a moment at All-Star Weekend, as not only were current greats like LeBron and Curry on display, but the 75th anniversary team was honored as well. Though the NBA 75 jacket might not mean much to Dennis Rodman, fans are still arguing about players who didn't make the squad. No! Oh, come on now, you can't just automatically say no, that's a debate! Yeah. And if his peers are to be believed, Kyrie Irving was the biggest snub. When it comes to pure skill, there aren't 75 players better than Kyrie. There may not be one. Perhaps it could be argued he isn't accomplished enough, but the inclusion of Anthony Davis and Damian Lillard make it tough to justify keeping Kai out. Welcome to Aaron Rodgers' Instagram of mystery. The NFL MVP's 10-page post saw him thank Shailene Woodley, teammates in Green Bay, and will certainly have talk shows speculating about his future. Do you think the Packers should consider trading Aaron Rodgers? Whether it's the vague proverb at the beginning or a photo of him missing between two Packers, there's nothing clear about it other than that it'll get the people going. No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. No, it's not. It gets the people going.